welcome to the uh, final four for March Madness at Webster Chamberlain's. All right, I'm going to announce the uh, final four for us, and uh, we're going to have those bowlers come up on stage so we can see who they are. Uh, we've got uh, Spread Eagle Productions here with Bob Lee and Matt Rich. And we've also got Abington Cable. We appreciate them taking the time and making the effort to, you know, put this on TV. So we're excited about that. So leading off, we've got Mike Nicholson from the Late Night Lobbers. Mike, where are you? Congratulations, Mike. Welcome to Final Four. Next, we've got uh, Ed O'Brien from the Raiders. Also... Uh, an employee here at Webster Timberlands for many years. Thanks, Ed. Welcome. All right. Next, we got James Humes. James bowls in our Tuesday Men's League. Welcome, James. Good luck, man. All right. And uh, last but not least, we've got Sandra Maki. Welcome, Sandra. We know who the crowd favorite is. All right, Sandra. Nice job. Congratulations. All right, listen, uh, these bowls are going to bowl off now. It's going to be one string. It's fast and furious. It's five boxes at a time. They've got their lane assignments. I'm going to turn it over to Bob and Matt from here. Thanks, everyone. Good luck, bowlers. Thank you, John. Um, we're going to be heading right into the action with uh, James bowling first on lane 22. The next ball will count. Sandy, you will be... Uh, First on lane 22. This is a 90% handicap tournament. We originally had 97 competitors entered last week. We had uh, 32 qualified. First ball from James. Right in on the headpin. I'm going to pass it over for the play by play to Matt Rich. On lane 21, here's Sandy right on the headpin. Leaves three in the right, two in the left. James on lane 22 with the four horsemen goes in the 1 3 pocket, just leaves the headpin. Sandy with her second ball. Takes out the three on the right, leaves two left. James right on the head pin for a 10 box, good start. Sandy with a 10 box as well, taking out the four seven. All right, well James, who's a 102 bowler, is, uh, um, he is not getting any pins today. This is handicap. Sandy is, uh, is, will be getting 13. She's an 87 bowler and she's getting 13 on the handicap. James heavy on the three pin, takes out the half whister. James looking to work this out here. Sandy with the same leave as her first box, three in the right, two in the left. Okay, tough leave for James. So Sandy also facing four. Um, the format today is the, these are the, these two bowlers are gonna oh great, great shot out. By, by James. He's, great nine out of that. We're bowling one string it's and a good the top, aim for Sandy as well. The top two are going to meet head to head in the final. Bowling for seven hundred dollars. Uh, we have we have six thousand dollars in the prize pool, by the way, but uh, spread out pretty nicely. Top thirty-two all all uh, cash. It's a great Got take. Got sixty dollars. Um, Sandy back in the headpin. Three in the headpin. Three splits. Tough tough break for Sandy. See if James can run down the four horsemen left here. Oh, just takes out the head pin. Second ball in the third box for these two. Sandy plucks one, leaving the triangle left, and the three and ten pin. James takes out two with an eight box. Big out. Okay, that's going to be a five. Five box for Sandy. Plenty of time to come back. All right. So James is at 27 after three. Sandy at at 36, remember she's getting 13 pins, so we're gonna we're gonna give her 36. So you can keep track. James on the head pin, right oh. through for a spread eagle. Sandy on that head pin again. We have a cluster on the right with some good wood. James three on the right. Let's see if he can make a 10 out of this. And Sandy right through the hole. Good shot by James to get a 10 out of that spread eagle. James at 37 through four. Sandy with a great Sandy. out for a nine. Great shot. And Sandy's in good shape. She's at uh, 45 through four with her 13 pins. That was a big out for her. James on the head pin in the one-two pocket. They're still falling. Takes down seven with a bunch of wood in front. 
And Sandy right in the same pocket. Did, Two did, were wiggling. Did Sandy just make five head pin shots and five splits? Sure did. Oh, There's my a goodness. Oh, great shot by James. Just misses the seven. I mean, pin. that is some great bowling. Oh, Sandy. great bid. So Sandy out of Rockland. And a nice 10 for James. We'll take nine. Sandy. So Sandy with her 41. Remember, she's getting 13 pins. That's a that's a uh, 54 half for Sandy. And uh, James pinning very well. Three tens, a nine and an eight. He had a 47. No pins for James. It's now excellent pinning in that first half. Yep. Now Mike Nicholson. Only 21 takes out the seven pin. He put up a 114 in the elite eight to get here. He was our t our high our high scratch bowler. A 147 also had the high handicap. Ed O'Brien on lane 21. Ed, who lives in Whitman, is a 99 average. Ed's getting two pins off of uh, James's score, and Mike is getting eight pins. So, so Mike, a 93 average. Nice out for a nine for Mike on lane 21. Mike on lane 22 starts out with a five. Still plenty of time to come back. Throws it out there. Takes out five. Add on lane 21 on the head pin. Takes out five as well. Wow. Just misses the head pin. Leaves just the head pin standing. And Nicholson's throwing that ball well over 30 miles an hour. Piece of wood is helpful, but Ed can't get it. A nice 10 for Mike in lane 22. And a nine box for Ed O'Brien on lane 21. All right, reminder of the scores. Sandy, Sandy finished her first half at 54. James, who is the uh, high average bowler at 47. 54 and 47 are the targets. Ed getting two is now at 20 after two. And Mike getting eight is now at 23. I'm sure both bowlers would love to see some marks. And there's a great ball right in the pocket, leaving just the eight pin. Ed off to the left, but leaves a cluster all together. Oh, and Mike just misses the spare. Ed hits the head pin, this could go. Just off to the right. Three left standing for Ed. One left standing for a nine box for Mike. So Mike at 32, including the handicap pins. Ed plucks three. the head pin, leaves two for an eight. He's now at 28. So a four pin lead in the head to head here. Um, all four bowlers, bowlers to be in the top two and play in the finals. Great ball in the 1-3 pocket. Not a great leave. You got a triangle left and the five pin. Triangle right, I'm sorry, the five pin. Ed off the head pin, but they're all together. Wow. Great bid from Nicholson on that end. Ed on the head pin. Oh! Gives it a shot. The All nine pin just doesn't want to go. All he needed was a spread eagle. That was the uh, <laughs> the inverse of a spread eagle. Not so easy when you're shooting for it, though. <laughs> nine box for both bowlers. Okay. Ed score now now at 37, including the handicap. Mike sits at 41. Mike, nice lefty ball coming in the one-two pocket. Leaves three on the left. Helpful piece of wood. Ed almost with a hammer ball. Drops nine. Ooh, almost. Leaves just the two pin. Oh, and Ed can't take out the eight. Just misses. That was nice ten, 10 box by Mike. Mike is, uh, is going to sit down with a 51 side. There's a 10 for Ed. With his hit, with, he was a he had 43 scratch plus the eight handicap. 
He's now in second place. So Sandy is our leader with the courtesy of the handicap. She put up a 41, getting 13 pins. She's at 54. So it's Sandy Mackey, 54. Mike at 51. James at 47 is in third. Sandy's first ball again on that head pin. Boy, that's six in a row. James just off to the left, leaves the half whister. James knew it when he there threw it right through the hole. Sandy trying to take oh, out three on the right. She does for an eight box. It's a tough six. Yep, tough six, but still plenty of time. You get the feeling it's only going to take one mark here. Maybe a couple. Man, all, all four of the bowlers bowl out of Timber Lanes. You know, it, people, the bowlers came from all around the South Shore and, and Boston. Um, earlier, 97 entered for, uh, with an entry fee of $60. James, James on the head pin. Leaves two on the right, seven pin on the left, but there's wood to help. Sandy finally missed a head pin there. Yep, yep. There it is on the second ball. Could take him. Oh, leaves everything. Takes everything but one. James gave it a great try on the spare shot as well. Just missed, but now he gets the seven pin for a 10. Sandy with a nine. All right, James is at 63 through seven. Sandy at getting getting 13 pins is at 71 through seven. She is over her box by one in a virtual tie with Mike Nicholson, who finished 51 through five. Oh, Sandy back on the head pin, but a bit full, leaving the spread eagle. James on the head pin. Drops eight with a piece of wood in front. Okay, remember two of these four bowlers are gonna make the finals. Oh, it stays on the lane, but leaves the 10 pin for James. And that's a seven box for Sandy. And a nine box for James. All right, Sandy now at 78 through eight. She's got two, two more, James. Two boxes ago. At 72. Bowlers. So Sandy's six ahead of James. Love to see a mark here. Mike and Ed are coming up next with their five. They still got five to play. Off to the right for Sandy. James hits the head pin. Has three in the left. And pin it back, but wooden front to help. Sandy right on the head pin. Oh boy. Almost takes them all. I don't mind this oh, one. I don't mind this shot one. by James. Just leaves the seven. <laughs> oh, right through the hole for Sandy with eight box. These are big pins. That's, that a, that's a 10 for James. So James at 82, Sandy at 86. Last box coming up. First Excellent. ball in the 10th. Excellent pinning. Sandy, a resident of Rockland. Like she's on that head pin again. Oh no. Oh, takes out the seven. How about that? There we go. James on the head pin as well. Leaves the diamond right and the seven. Sandy makes this. I think she could qualify with any kind of fill. Right on it. Oh! And it goes. Clutch spare shot by Sandy. James right on, on the diamond. Leaves the five, seven, nine. Looking for a couple here. Takes out one for an eight box. All right, Sandy's at 83 plus this ball um, in her scratch score, but she's getting 13 pins, so 96. She gets herself up over 100, into the hundreds. She's gonna have a great chance. Clutch spare shot for Sandy. Back on the head pin. Good film. Oh my That's goodness, Phil. Oh my goodness. Straight Sandy. finish by Sandy. 91 scratch out 104. That's that is. So she's beaten James. Leader, James leader finished with an 80. He's yep. not getting any pins. So James, James is on the bubble right now. Either of these two guys beats him. 
Oh, right on the pocket for Ed O'Brien. They have to beat each Not other. Not a great leave. They basically have to beat each other and beat, and, and uh, one of them has to beat James to advance. Oh, great bid by Ed. Mike with a shot. Takes out three of the four horsemen, leaves the seven. And a nice 10 by Ed O'Brien. 10 for Mike Nicholson as well. Okay, Ed getting, Ed had a 50, 45 first half, getting two pins though, 47. He's now at 57 through six. He's three under his box. He needs a mark to catch Sandy, but he's, he's well in position to beat that 90. Mike had a 51 head first off to the right, takes four. Mike on the head pin, takes down seven. Mike is now at, at 61 through six. If he gets all tens, he'd end up with one on one. Ed just off the head pin by a bit. He got it! Ooh, comes back and takes it. Oh, that that. That's his first mark. The perks and are the working second here, mark huh? of the match. <laughs> that, this, uh, that could be enormous. <laughs> Mike ended up uh, with an eight. He's now at 69 through seven. So Phil on the head. Oh! Man. He takes them all. That is amazing. That Clutch shot by Ed O'Brien. Strike on spare. Mike Nichols has a shot at a spare himself. Takes out one. Looking for a 10 box. Ends up with a nine. So Ed is already at 87 through 80. Seven over with two bonus balls coming up. Ed, the Whitman resident, 99. Average has a high triple of 409. First ball of the strike. Can he do it again? Drops an eight on the first ball. Ed has assured, virtually assured, that he will be one of the two finalists. That wood sets up nicely for him, Bob. He can slide that across, take out the seven. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. All right. Ed has already qualified. That's a six box for Mike. He's now at 105, plus a ball through nine. 107, remember? So now, uh, drama is that Mike needs a mark. Absolutely needs a mark. Oh, he's, a got a, he's got a leave. Three in the left, it could go. Ed O'Brien has a leave as well. Hit that in the 1-3 pocket. Ah, just takes out the three. Mike Nichols takes out a couple. Nicholson. Can't take out all three. No, Nicholson will, will not. Great 10. So Ed finishes with a 122, a 124 with his handicap. He is our number one finisher. Mike comes up just short at 93, comes in third place. He'll be getting $350 uh, for, for Mike. Also $350 for James Humes. And bowling next on will be our finals. We have Ed O'Brien, Sandy Hot. That's right, Ed. Ed, a Whitman resident, has a high single, 174. I said a high, high triple of 409. Bowls here on the Raiders on Timberlane. He uses two six Cobras. We're going to see uh, the official tallies come through. We'll be back with the finals in just a few minutes. Matt Rich, and Bob Lee, and uh, we'll be back with the uh, first balls in the head-to-head -head finals. Welcome back to Webster Timberlanes. I just wanted to uh, say congratulations to our final four bowlers. Uh, you're all going to be getting a uh, custom jacket uh, for uh, March Madness. Pretty exciting. 
In addition, uh, the two people that didn't make it to the final, you all also got $350 of prize money each, so that's pretty good. Uh, but now we're on to the final two, uh, and we've got, uh, I'm going to announce these two bowlers. They both bowl here at Webster Timber Lane, so it's pretty exciting to have a, a house final here. So we're going to start off with uh, ladies first, Sandra Mackey from Crossroads. Congratulations, Sandy. Uh, and from the Raiders, we've got Ed O'Brien. Come on, Ed. Good luck, man. All right, we've got the handicaps up there. We've got Ed O'Brien with 27 pins, Sandra with 38. So it's going to be a tight match. Uh, looking forward to a really exciting finish here. The winner's going to get $700 and uh, a cruise to Alaska. No, it's totally not going to happen. Yeah, well, exactly. We're not going to edit that part out where I said no. But in any case, no, it's going to be fabulous to uh, be the reigning champ until next year. All right? So let's go. Good luck, guys. All right. Ed, okay. So bowling first on lane 22 will be Ed O'Brien. Ed is giving 11 pins. This is a 90% uh, handicap tournament. 97 started to remain. I'm Bob Lee from Spread Eagle Productions. I'm here with Matt Rich. He's going to be doing our play-by-play. Um, Ed O'Brien of Whitman will be bowling first on lane 22. His next ball for the championship. Waiting for the computer to set. Looking at a good chunk of change here, Bob. $700 to the first place winner, $440 to the second place. Well earned after beating out so many competitors. That's right. Ed, who is a 99 bowler on the Raiders, as, as John mentioned, um, has to give 11 pins to Sandy, who just uh, just made a big spare to, to, to edge out uh, Mike, uh, Mike Nicholson, Mike yes. Nicholson and yeah. John, uh, John Hume. Uh, Watch shot. Number both three and both number four. bowlers, really. And then uh, competitors. Uh, Ed went nuts in his second half to, to make it to the final match here. He, he threw spare, strike, filled up that strike well. Uh, I think, what, he had three marks in the second half? Yeah, yeah. Ed, yes, Ed, with a strike yeah. um, on spare right there in the middle. All right, Ed is ready to go. Good sportsmanship there. Love to see it. Okay, so top, put, it, Ed put 11 up on Sandy, score to start. Ed O'Brien with the first ball in lane 22. Off to the left, but gets a good break. Sandy on lane 21 on the head pin. Very reliable first ball. She hit eight out of 10 head pins in the uh, final four. Oh, and just plucks the head pin. Make it nine out of 11, because she got a, on her 11th rack, she was able to uh, hit, connect with a big eight fill that got her into this final. Huge clutch shot. Ed to start with a seven box. Sandy looking to take a couple, takes out one, starts with an eight. Okay, 12, a 12 pin lead for Sandy. Two contrasts in the first ball from these two bowlers. Sandy all over that head pin. Ed's just been a little off, but getting good leaves. all over that 1-3 pocket again. Leaves diamond left plus a seven pin. Seven pin. Yeah, it's gonna be open. Sandy with a good shot. Takes out everything but two. Ed looking to get a nice out out of this leave. Has some wooden back that might help. On the head pin, takes out everything. Nice 10 box. Sandy looking to slide the five pin over, just misses right. Eight right. bucks for Sandy. Bring, brings the lead down to 10. Bull is gonna switch after five. It's a 10, 10 box final. Ed O'Brien on lane 22, just off the head pin. Throws a great mix and ball. Gives him a spare lead. Just has to hit it in between that one three pocket. Sandy just off the head pin just a little bit. 
Just off the head pin by Ed. Might take the 10 pin. No. Sandy looking for a big out out of this. That's the one, four, six, seven, ten. Great bid by Ed to get the 10, but leaves the 10 pin. Sandy on the head pin, takes out a few. All right, that's pretty good. Good pinning to get a seven out of that. All right, Sandy now at 34 after three, including, including her handicap. Ed at 26, an eight pin lead. Ed left of the head pin, takes out three. Wants that one back. Sandy on that head pin again. Check mark right. Unbelievable head pin accuracy for San Sandy Absolutely. Mackey. Might be her best leave yet. Oh, Ed O'Brien off the head pin, but still takes it out. Takes everything but the 10. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, that has to go. It doesn't. <laughs> no, one mark like that could be a difference maker in this game. Nine for Ed. See what Sandy does with this. Takes out one of them. All right, no blood. Nine box. Still an eight pin lead. Forty three thirty five with the handicap. Ed off to the right takes out one. Lemon drop. Sandy on that hit pin again. That seven pin's wiggling. Doesn't want to fall. Well, she's missed one head pin on this side. Ed takes out a few. I think yeah. if Sandy goes to the right with that wood, that could push everything to the it side. And it does. Oh, my goodness. Great shot by she's Sandy. She's got to be. Just incredible, incredible accuracy. Oh, and a great shot by Ed to get a nine out of that. All right. That, so that's, uh, they're going to switch with the side, take a moment's break, but that's, uh, that was a 50, 50, 42 in a ball, 53 in a ball with the handicap for, for Sandy. And uh, she now has a nine pin lead over Ed. That was a 44 half for Ed O'Brien. Bowler's going to take a, a moment's break and we will be right back with the second half of this match in just a moment. Hello and welcome back for the final half of the March Madness Championship. Sandra Mackey of Rockland just made a spare. This is in the bonus. She oh, just row. plucks the three pin. She's been on the head pin all day. Plucks the three pin. Ed O'Brien with a great ball. Drops eight. 13 out of her 15 first ball. Balls so far on, at the head pin. We're good. We're good, Matt. This would be a huge spare for Ed if you can take it. Oh, the wooden front did not help. All right, so Mackey finishes with a 54 first half, including the 11 pins for the handicap. Excellent pinning by Sandy right there to finish with an eight box out of that. Ed takes an eight as well. So scratch, we're looking at Sandy 51 after six, Ed 52 after six, but Sandy gets 11, 11 pins. Yep. So it's a 10 pin lead, and they're, they're just bowling for those 10 pins right now. Four boxes to go. Sandy on that head pin again. Little fall, leaves two left, one right. Half Sandy now 14, Ed, 14 out of 17 in this final on the head pin. Misses the two on the left there. See if Ed can work out the half twist. Gives it a shot, great ball. Two left standing. Sandy knew that when she threw it. Seven box. It's an eight box for Ed, so he gains one pin back. That's nine now, Matt. Nine pin lead for Sandy. Three boxes to go. Come on, Ed, get it out. 
One mark could change everything. I think Ed needs a mark. Santa just misses the pocket. Four horsemen left in the nine pin. Ed throws it out there. On the head pin, but too full. Half uh, spread eagle. Sandy takes out everything but the head pin. Good pinning. Ed will have some work to do. Takes out the seven. That's a great box for Sandy. That could be a big 10. That's a uh, going up against 14 five pin box. lead now with two to play. Momentum is on Sandy's side at the moment. With two boxes to go, still anybody's game. $700 on the line. Sandy just off the right, same leave as last box. Head on the head pin. Again, a little full. Sandy misses left, leaving three pins. Head right through the hole. Pins are big. That's an eight box for Sandy. And a seven box and another for Another pickup. Sandy now at 87. Ed at 72. That's a 15 pin lead. He's in double strike territory, really. I mean, unless she. Yeah, good. As long as she hits the head pin again, and there she did. Oh, it leaves a split That's right. there. Almost That's a sprint right. eagle. Yeah, we could take one, one big mark with a big fill. I think that's going to Takes out it. four. Sandy with six at the moment. Must make. All right. And, and off the head pin to the right. Sandy Mackey is your 2022 champion. March Madness competition as they pull out the string. Final score, 95 to 80. Mackey will be wearing that champion's jersey for the rest of the year. Great congratulations to Sandy, bowlers. congratulations to everybody. Our thanks to Abington Community Access Media, uh, Bob Lee and Matt Rich from Spread Eagle Productions. Thank you very much and we will see you on the lanes. Everyone, uh, welcome again back to Webster Timber Lanes uh, for the results from our final uh, round here for March Madness. Uh, exciting finish uh, right to the end. Uh, a lot of cheering and hooting and hollering. Uh, but we do have a second place uh, player and we do have a winner. So I'd like to welcome up to the stage uh, Ed O'Brien from the Raiders. Second place, Ed. Congratulations. All right, you get your final four pin and uh, $440, not bad. I heard you uh, recovering a little bit from Atlantic City, so. Yeah, this will make you back about half of what I spent in the last All right, well then you, you get at least half back. All right, fantastic. All right, and our first place winner from the uh, Crossroads team, we have uh, Sandra, Sandra Maki. Come on up, Sandra. Nice bowling. Congratulations. All right. You're out. Thank you very much. First place. All right, so what did you think of the tournament so far? I have no words. Yeah. I can't even believe I made it to first place. You killed it. You absolutely just did. You bowled so well the whole tournament. Uh, I just want to say 97 bowlers. Uh, we had two weekends prior to this that we came up, um, and you had to make it out of your heat and get here to the final 32, and then you had to work your way through the heat. It was six strings. I think uh, a few people were out of gas at the end. But you, you persevered, and uh, you made it to the end, and you won. So congratulations, and you're the reigning champion. You're going to get a special jacket as well. So thanks, everyone. We appreciate it. We'll see you next, next year on March Madness. Thanks, everyone.